Speaking of your little ones, if they're sick, Turns out it could be RSV. The respiratory virus usually peaks later in the winter, but cases right now are already surging in North Texas, and doctors expect the numbers to keep rising. Our Caroline Vandergriff is looking at how Cook Children's in Fort Worth is handling all of its patients. Yeah. <laughs> The Greens will never forget the ambulance ride they took to Cook Children's with their four month old daughter, Lindy. You know, it's been pretty bad experience. She was diagnosed with RSV, a common respiratory virus that can cause severe illness and breathing problems, particularly for babies and other children with underlying medical conditions. Um, she was just really lethargic. Uh, she was sleeping pretty much nonstop. Um, started running, running a pretty significant fever. Lindy is one of 288 patients who tested positive for RSV this week in the Cook Children's system. That number has more than doubled from last month and it is rapidly increasing. Dr. Laura Romano says the unusual timing of this surge may be related to the pandemic. Last year, more people were wearing masks and children were more likely to stay home while sick. The fact that we're seeing this many um, cases so early is very concerning um, and it makes a lot of us alarmed about what the rest of cold and flu season is going to look like. Cook Children's is seeing more than a thousand patients a day between the hospital's ER in Fort Worth and urgent care facilities across Tarrant County. That means longer wait times for everyone, whether your child has RSV, appendicitis or a broken arm. Please don't come to the emergency room if you're only looking for a test. Doctors urge families to avoid coming to the hospital unless your child is having a true medical emergency, like difficulty breathing or a persistent fever. That will free up resources for the patients who need the help the most. Hopefully we'll go home in the morning and they're saying she should be okay. In Fort Worth, Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News. We're glad to hear that, but Children's Health in Dallas also reporting an early spike in cases right now. They've had 349 patients test positive for RSV just this past week. That is up from 84 during the same time last year.